All right, here is your standard mobile Tesla charger that comes with the car when you get it. This is the North American version. And uh, here in North America, in the United States specifically, we got either 110 or 120 volt power coming out of the wall. So this is the 15 amp plug adapter. So what most of the uh, plugs in your house would be would, would be a 15 amp maximum um, at 120 volts. So that's what comes with it. Typically, you get anywhere from four to six miles for every hour you charge it. So I thought I would get one of the larger um, adapters that could go on the mobile connector. And I've got this one. Now this is a 20 amp and it simply goes in place of the other one. You snap the other one out and put it this one in its place. You'll notice one of those blades go horizontally, one go vertically, and you actually need a 20 amp circuit in your house to do that. And there's three pieces to make that work. There's the actual socket itself, and you'll see this one's got it where it can go sideways or, or vertically, like this one is, or like this one. So it'll support 15 or 20. The other thing is you need the proper wire size in the wall. Uh, if you don't have that, you could, you know, if you were to buy one of these at your local hardware store and put it on a 15 amp circuit, yeah, it would actually work. But once you start pulling over the uh, amount of current through that wire, you can actually heat it up to the point it could catch on fire. So you want to make sure you got the proper wire size to support that. And then the third piece to that is you need the breaker to go with it. So it's got to be a 20 amp breaker and not a 15 Anyway, let's look at the uh, difference on the screen and see what uh, miles per hour of charge uh, this actually makes. All right, with the 15 amp adapter that comes with the mobile charger, I've got it set up to the uh, maximum that it can do, which is 12 amps on a 15 amp circuit. So uh, I've seen it where at some places where I've plugged in where the voltage was a little bit lower and it was like one 110 or 115 volts, it wouldn't quite get the 12 amps. Uh, even though I had it set here, it actually would show like 10 amps out of 12. So uh, I'm not sure if that was a result of the lower voltage or, or something else. But anyway, I just noted that. So uh, as it sits now, I'm getting five miles for every hour that I'm charging in range. Um, so let's uh, take the other one and let's plug it in and see if there's any difference. Okay, now we've got the 20 amp installed and you'll notice the maximum we can go now is 16 amps. Of course, you can set it to any value lower than the maximum there. So if I wanted to go down to five amps or whatever, I could just by adjusting it here. Uh, but at, at 16 amps, you're looking at about seven miles per hour of charge. So uh, it's about two, two miles per hour more with this uh, 20 amp versus the 15. Uh, not, not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. Uh, so far, I haven't really uh, had the need for a faster charger in the house uh, since my commute is so short. I'm able to get this thing back to, to uh, full every night uh, without having to go to a supercharger or anything like that. Anyway, I just wanted to show this. If you're looking at some of the plug adapters, they do make the, the higher voltage ones like uh, the 220 volt version in a 14-50 and you can get these off the Tesla website.